I'm Kristen Scott. Welcome to part three of my hips and hammies series for flexibility in your low body and to help you get into your splits. This is part three, so we're gonna get into those splits. I hope you did the other parts to warm up. Let's get started. We'll start in a wide leg child's pose. Big toes touch near the back of your mat. Knees wide to the edges of your mat. Start to crawl your fingers out long in front of you. You can bring your forehead down onto your mat. Maybe massage your forehead side to side. If you're doing these videos in order and you're coming straight from part two, feel free to skip this intro if you're already warm. Start to come into your breath here in your child's pose. Strong inhales and exhales through your nose. On your next inhale, start to press into your hands. We'll come up to a hands, knees, tabletop position. Stacking shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Then inhale, drop your belly, lift your gaze, lift your tailbone. Exhale, curl round, really push the mat away from you. Inhale, drop your belly, cow pose. Exhale, cat, arch through your spine. Continue these cat cows, moving with your breath. Inviting in extra wiggles or movements if they feel right. Snaking side to side, sending hips back towards your heels, just warming up the spine here. Complete your last round and we'll meet in a neutral tabletop, a nice flat spine. And bring your hands out about a hand length in front of you. Tuck your toes, send your hips up and back, downward facing dog. Feet come to hip width distance. All 10 fingers spread wide, pressing the space between your index fingers and your thumbs into your mat. You can bend one knee and the other if you need to, to even out, warm up. Coming up onto tippy toes if that feels right for you. Inhale, come up onto your tiptoes and take small steps up to meet your hands. Step your feet wide, hip width distance. Let your head hang really heavy. Come into your ragdoll pose here. Big bend in your knees as much as you need to bring your belly down onto your thighs. You can interlace your fingers and opposite elbow creases. Sway side to side if that feels good. If you're nice and loose and you wanna get deeper into your hamstrings, you can grab your big toes with your peace fingers. Inhale, lift halfway, nice flat back here. Exhale, fold in, pulling yourself closer. Elbows pointing out. Inhale, lift halfway, nice flat back. Exhale, fold in, pulling yourself in with your fingers. If this is too deep for you, you're welcome to stay in ragdoll, staying with your breath, breathing into the hamstrings. If you'd like to take it a little deeper, bring your palms underneath your feet, walk your toes up to your wrist creases, give your wrists a little massage here. Belly on your thighs, maybe starting to transfer weight into the balls of your feet, trusting yourself here.
Breathing into those hamstrings. Release your hands from wherever they are. Plant both of your palms. Step one foot back and then the other. Come into a high plank, top of a push up. Nice strong plank here, sucking your belly button to your spine. Inhale, hinge forward on your tippy toes. Hug your elbows to your sides. Lower all the way down to your belly. Press the tops of your feet firmly into your mat. Inhale, peel just your heart up, baby cobra. Little to no weight in your hands here. Slowly lower down, tuck your toes. Press into your hands first into your high plank, then hips up and back, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg high. Flex all five toes straight down towards your face, square off those hips. Now bend your knee, stack your hip, open up. Inhale your leg high, back to center. Exhale, knee to your nose. Step your foot in between your hands. Lower down onto your bottom knee. Peek that this front knee is stacked right over your ankle here. Then inhale, reach up, low lunge. Breathing space into the left hip flexor here. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant your hands to frame your foot. Come onto your heel, flex your toes up towards your face, straightening this front leg. Trying to square both of your hips. This is your half splits here. Breathing into that hamstring. Hopefully you did the first two videos and those hamstrings are nice and warm. Inhale, back to your low lunge, reach up. Exhale, back to half splits. Breathe into it. Inhale, reach up, low lunge. Exhale, come into your splits. Try to square both hips down. Flexing through those front toes, breathing here. If full splits is not accessible to you, no worries, you can prop yourself up. Just go as far as you can. Make sure you feel comfortably uncomfortable, so any tight, sharp pains get out of it. But if it's just uncomfortable, try to breathe into it. Breathing wherever you are here, a couple more breaths. The hip opening is not over on the right side. Now we're gonna transition into our half pigeon. So bring that front shin parallel to the top of your mat. Flex through that top foot. Sit up really tall, try to square both hips. Inhale, exhale, fold forward, half pigeon. Breathe into it here. Release tension from your face. Release tension with each exhale. Inhale, start to make your way back up. Come up off that back leg. Step your foot back. Okay, so I'm back on a completely different mat, as I'm sure a lot of you have noticed. Um, my hands were slipping in downward facing dog, which is really obnoxious and distracting. So if your hands are slipping on your mat, 
might want to try a different one. And downward facing dog is the best way to test if your hands are gonna slip on a mat. So let's get back to our routine. Downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your left leg high. Flex your toes straight down towards your face. Now bend your knee, stack your hip, open up here. Inhale your leg high back to center. Exhale, knee to nose. Step your foot in between your hands. Lower down onto your bottom knee. Check that this front knee is stacked right over your ankle here. Inhale, reach up, low lunge. Breathing space into your right hip flexor now. Inhale, sinking low on your exhale. Inhale. Stay one more time. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, plant your hands. Come onto the heel of your front foot. Flex through this front leg. Toes up towards your face. Breathing space into that hamstring, into your half splits here. Inhale, bend back into that front knee. Reach up, low lunge. Exhale, plant your hands, half splits. Inhale, reach up, low lunge. Exhale, slide into your full split. If full split is not accessible to you, feel free to prop yourself up, stopping wherever is comfortable for you. Try to get to a place where you're comfortably uncomfortable, nothing's ripping, tearing, no sharp shooting pains, and you can get to a place where you're stretching and feeling good and able to breathe through it. If one side of your splits looks completely different than your other one, that's totally normal. It takes a long time for them to both even out. We'll start to make our way into our half pigeon now on our left side. If you can get the shin nice and parallel to the top of your mat, really flex through that foot. If your hip's not all the way down here in the back, tuck this front foot in towards your hip. You wanna make sure all five back toes are pressing firmly into your mat. Inhale, sit up really tall, lots of length in your spine. Exhale, fold forward. Breathing into our left outer hip now. Using your breath here to melt you deeper into the pose. Sinking a little deeper with each exhale. On your next inhale, Start to press back into your hands. Make your way back to your downward facing dog. Release that left outer hip here. Roll it out, hip circles, wiggles. Anything you need to release your right and left hip now. Taking a moment in your downward facing dog to notice the difference in your hips, how much more open they feel from where we started. And then we'll gently make our way down onto our backs, coming into happy baby.
feet stamp into the ceiling. Try to iron your whole spine all the way to your tailbone into your mat. Plugging knees into your armpits. You can sway side to side if that feels good. This should feel super juicy after all that hip work. Maybe straightening one or both legs. Continuing to flatten that tailbone into your mat. Couple more breaths here in your happy baby. Release your feet. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a little squeeze. And start to take your knees over to the left. Open up your right arm. Both shoulders pressing into your mat. Come into a gentle spinal twist here. your next inhale, hug back into center. Give yourself a squeeze to reset. Gently take your knees over to the other side. Both shoulders pressing into your mat. On your next inhale, hug back into center one final time. Give yourself a great big squeeze for all of your hard work. If you've done all three videos, you really earned this Shavasana. Take a big breath in. Open your mouth, let it go. Come into Shavasana, your final resting pose. Take up space on your mat. Let your feet spread wide to the edges. Arms rest down by your sides, palms face up. Close your eyes. Release any remaining tension from your forehead. Unclench your jaw. Feel your entire spine lengthening down into your mat. all the way into your tailbone. Feel your hips settling down. Relax your glutes, your hamstrings, your quads. all the way into your toes. Relax your arms, your fingers. Full body relaxation here. Stay here as long as you can, at least two minutes, 
five if you can, especially if you did all three videos, you really earned a long Shavasana. But if it's time to move on with your day, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. Reach your arms overhead, take a full body stretch. Hug your knees into your chest. Make your way onto your favorite side, coming into fetal position. Coming to a place of comfort. Coming to a place of gratitude. Gratitude for your body this time that you've given yourself to practice. Keeping your eyes closed, press into your hand. Gently make your way up to a comfortable seated position. Bring your palms to touch at heart center. The light, the love, the student, and the teacher in me recognizes and is grateful for the light, the love, the student, and the teacher in each of you. Thank you all for sharing your practice with me. Namaste. Make sure you subscribe to Psyche Truth here on YouTube so you can see all of our videos. Leave me comments, let me know how you're doing. Let me know what else you'd like to see from me.